Hi, good afternoon. Welcome back to Mama Sanity. Today is Friday, March the 15th, and I hope that everybody has um, a great weekend planned. I know it's kind of gloomy outside today, and it's going to be a little gloomy this weekend, but at least here in San Antonio, Texas, we did get to enjoy two beautiful, warm, sunny days for spring break. Um, today's scripture is about first impressions, and then I'm going to switch things up a little bit. Instead of reading some prayers from Pinterest, I um, got this... Um, other thing from Pinterest and it's kind of like food for thought something to leave you with on Friday to kind of ponder over the weekend encouraging words when you feel down and low and then I'm gonna end with my quote for the day so let's get started give first impressions a second chance it said that first impressions are lasting impressions but it doesn't have to be true for you a poor impression can turn you away from opportunities interest experiences and even people that are well worth a second look before jumping to conclusions, think about what you saw, heard, and ask yourself if it might have missed something. You have more to gain than to lose by giving them another try. That's very powerful. I teach my kids all the time, don't judge a book by its cover. You don't know what that person's gone through. You don't know what they're going through in that moment. And they can be the sweetest person in the world and they just look a little rough on the outside. When you meet a person for the first time, I know that we've all been taught first impressions, and it, and it still rings true. I, you know, first impressions are a very big deal. I've taught my kids when you go for job interviews, when you get older, you need to dress your best, you need to be on your manners, you need to look presentable, because that's how they're going to judge you for for a job, and that still rings true. However, that being said, there's a lot of times when we meet people and they kind of rub us the wrong way. And sometimes we need to go with our instincts, but sometimes we don't. And so a big rule for me is always give that person a second chance. You know, like I said before, you don't know what they've been going through that day. They might have just had a really, really bad day and then you meet them and you don't get the best impression and they're not trying to be standoffish or they're not trying to be rude or anything, but that's just, that's how they're coming across because the kind of day that they had. So I believe that we do need to give everybody a second chance um, to prove themselves. My, um, instead of doing prayers today, I found something by R.M. Drake off of Pinterest, and I'm gonna call it the end of the week strength. And so it's, it's kind of um, talking about how we feel, but it's ending on a positive note. I know life is hard. I know sometimes you feel like giving up on people and yourself. I know you have good days and bad days, but more bad than good, or so it seems. I know every day you question yourself, what is this all for? What am I thinking? Am I making the right choices? Am I supposed to be here right now? I know you have more questions than answers and most of the time, and you don't even know how to explain them. I know life is hard, and you have to keep going. You have to rise above the waters of your soul and bloom, no matter how hot the fire is. You, no matter how many arrows you carry on your back, believe me, you are a warrior. You're a soldier filled with both pain and love, and life is just another beast you were meant to tame, and there is no one better for the job than you. That is extremely powerful. I wanted to share that with y'all today because I know there's a lot of people that are going through a lot of crazy things right now, and they're going through depression, they're going through loss, they're going through trust things, they're going through mental, physical, spiritual, emotional issues, and there's a lot of times when we feel like giving up on ourselves and we say, I just can't do this anymore. I mean, the suicide rate is just crazy um, out the window, and I've we've taught our kids that suicide is not the answer no matter what, no matter what you're going through. Um, ending your life is not worth it and this this kind of fits in with that because it's saying you are a warrior you will conquer this you will get through this and you can get pulled out of that pit of darkness and sadness somehow which leads me to the quote for the day when you think there is no hope God says take my hand and let me lead, lead the way we can do this together that is very powerful too. When you feel like I can't be with this person anymore or I can't be in this world anymore, I can't do this anymore, you need to go straight to God and say, God, I need you. 
I need you to get me out of this pit. I need you to help me and give me strength. My world is crashing down. I can't do this. And he will help fight the battle for you. He will take everything and he will give you the strength that you need to fight what you need to fight. And then he will take on the rest. So I just, I know that's kind of really deep for a Friday afternoon, but like I said, I just want to leave you food for thought and a little positivity over the weekend. And I hope y'all have a great weekend and stay sane.